All right, everyone, so we're going to try to find some of the cool tools at SEMA for this video and show you guys around a few things and let you know what's kind of coming and some of the tools you might be able to use in a home garage or even professionally. Let's see what we can find. So over here at the Mueller booth, they're showing me some wrench extenders so you can actually hold the wrench by the extender. And then you, have, you can actually put a breaker bar on it as well. Little wrenches, big wrenches. And they got these surfacing wheels that allow you to clean the back side of the rims off. And they got them also for the lug nuts. And I guess they're a racing tool to get the scuffs and everything off your rims. Pretty cool. Uh, if you need the deluxe ball joint removal kit, there it is. All right, so we're here at the lock inflate booth. So we use the lock lube. We've showed that before on the channel. But for the inflate, it's kind of nice. It's just like the lube, if you will, that just, you just go on. Gentlemen, to leave a couple threads and it locks on and it allows you to fill. So that's a pretty neat little item there. And then it was showing me the, for the, for the dualies that if, when it pushes on, thank you, that when you push it on, it actually locks. And then if you just unlocks it there and you can reach in and do it from the backside as well. So for you dually guys, they got you both. I like that, it's pretty sweet. And yes, it really is. So we came over here into the Harbor Freight booth. Definitely not the old cheap knockoff stuff it used to be. So Harbor Freight came out with this for their porta band. It's kind of slick. You've got a shock. You can it'll actually feed. You can actually press. You can take the, the little shock off here and let it be gravity fed. Just with a little vise to cut up against. You would just clamp over it, and then you just turn it. So now it becomes a vertical. Once you take everything off, it's got a little switch here to turn it on, turn it off. So that little unit will do so vertical and horizontal. Pretty, pretty cool little product right there. And it's only $119. So then just you buy the Hercules band. So you get the uh, cordless version, 129. I'm guessing it's probably without the battery. Or you buy the standard for 169, 170 bucks. So that at $120 for that mount, and you got a pretty nice little uh, bandsaw that you could do horizontal or vertical. And they said it would take any of the other Porter bands, like the Milwaukee's as well. And you even got a little fixer table for the welding. Nice little setup there. They definitely were touting this new trailer that they came out with. It's kind of a light duty trailer that you can just buy at any of the stores go-kart you can't you cannot buy that so you can you do like the roll around so if you just want to use a base pretty nice setup power strips everything on them you definitely uh, like the colors which is a good thing not everything's got to be red or silver of course they got red too that's a twenty thousand dollar snap-on box if you bought it from snap-on well, their up's got their truck on these uh, Flexman lifts. I'm not sure if these are the same lifts that always being shown on Jay Leno or not, but looks like they got like a pallet jack on the bottom to move them. And that definitely is no light beast sitting up on that thing. Kind of like that. So that should be a D200 camper special. Let's see. So it's around a 70, just like ours. Oh, this is one I would love to have. Fender is magnetically held. So you can put the fingers anywhere. When you bend, you can put round or flat, or whatever you want on there. And it's held magnetically. 
So Bailey Boots, I would love to get an English wheel, something like that. It's a nice setup. But their vice won't do you joints, ours will. And we actually use quite a bit of strong hand tool stuff, actually work with them quite a bit. They sent us some tools to demo and use. One of these days, I'm gonna get one of these cubes. That's a hell of a fixture table right there. And a nice little tool cart here, or to roll around, got some drawers. Got that nice Build Pro top on it. Not a bad price. You know, good flat work surface. This is one I like if I was building A-frames or suspension components. Being able to turn that thing, locate it wherever I wanted to, different heights. That'd be a nice setup right there. So it was actually pushing the curve into the tube. Well, it looked like it was just pushing it out straight. And if you just want wheels to move your vehicle around while you're working on it, you got these wheels here that you can adjust. So you can see that on the video there that the rubber's moving, the center stays put in case you can't rotate for some reason. That's something one of these days I want to get from Fireball, so that combination square, it's got that big square base built into it. That way you can use it on a well table, so that little flimsy little uh, combination square, along with all the other stuff that Fireball makes. Even we've got companies out here doing 3D printing, equipment for that, and demonstrating their uh, the ability to print. It's a nice machine. So Ray's 3D. And if you want tools, Flex has a, some very nice setups here for you. So Tool Time Tuesdays, this would be a good one. All kinds of setup. Okay, just about everything nowadays is unibody. So you got straightening racks like this. It'll actually find the pickup points, help you get everything bent back in shape. Whether it's in line, you're just checking it, or you gotta stretch it around a little bit. Racks like this can definitely help you. So we are at... So, so Snap-on's got a booth here, but it's mainly geared up around the shop equipment, frame straightening, even, I'm guessing, uh, brake retruing actually on the vehicle. That's pretty cool. So plenty of things to see and do. Check out those tools here from SEMA. And we'll see you in the next video.